Several species of large grey, white and black gulls look similar and many people lump them all together as seagulls. But they can be relatively easily told apart. Two frequent species that are often overlooked or confused are lesser blackback and great blackback gulls. Firstly, we must separate both of these species from the ubiquitous herring gull, as all three of these species share grey backs and wings, clean white bodies, heads and tails, black and white wing tips, pale eyes and large yellow bills. Herring gull, however, should be immediately identifiable by its very pale silvery grey plumage. Both of the black backed gulls, as their names suggest, are much darker grey. In all three species, when adult, the plumage is retained throughout the year, so the following differences apply at all times. Although, do bear in mind that both herring gull and lesser black backed gull often display dirty looking streaked heads in autumn and winter, great black backed gulls are generally clean headed year round. Lesser black backed gull is basically the same size as a herring gull, although to my eyes they always appear slightly more elegant and less bulky. The back and wings are a striking and attractive slate grey, much darker than on a herring gull, and contrasting with the white body gives the bird a strikingly clean and dapper appearance. The wingtips are black and these do stand out against the dark grey. If seen perched, the leg colour is a giveaway. It's bright yellow. Both herring gull and greater blackback gull have pink legs. Traditionally, lesser blackback gulls have been a more strictly marine bird than herring gull, particularly during the breeding season. Although both species happily mix at food sources, breeding sites, and roosts, the numbers are supplemented in the winter by birds from northwest Europe, and they are much more likely to be encountered then inland. Large numbers roost in fields, and outdoor pigs are a favourite place to find them. As with the other gulls, they are attracted to rubbish tips and, recently, breeding birds have increasingly been encountered nesting on flat roofs far inland. In principle, at least, great blackback gull should be easy to identify, if for no other reason than its great size. It's at least twice as heavy as a herring gull or a lesser blackback gull. I always think of them as being as big as a buzzard, but in fact the gull is significantly larger with a five foot wingspan compared to Buzzard's four foot one, and with a much larger body as well. It is by far our largest gull. Having said this, however, size is not always immediately apparent, especially if the birds are seen in isolation or at sea. And even more than lesser blackback or herring gull, great blackbacks do tend to be coastal birds. The back and wings are an even darker shade of grey, almost black, and the black wingtips are virtually indistinguishable from the rest of the back and wings. This again should be enough to tell the two blackback gulls apart, but the light can make a huge difference to how dark the birds appear. In particular, strong sunlight can make the backs of great blackback gull appear lighter, matching the expected slate grey colour of lesser blackback. Likewise, dull conditions can darken the colour of lesser blackback gull, and this problem can be compounded in winter, as some individuals from the darker, more eastern races can turn up on our shores. The amount of white on the wings can help, especially as you become more familiar with both species. Lesser blackback gull shows a neat white trailing edge to the dark wing, small white windows along the trailing edge of the wingtip, and a small neat white outer tip to the wing. Great blackback gulls, on the other hand, have a wide white trailing edge to the broad wings, and there is much more white on the outer wing as well, including an extensive clean white tip. In addition, great blackback gulls also usually show an obvious white leading edge to the wing as well, neatly framing the whole wing. Finally, lesser blackback and herring gulls have similarly sized beaks, but great blackback gull looks like a real bully with a huge heavy bill especially noticeable in the males, giving a heavy-headed and threatening appearance. There is no doubt, however, that these two species, which on paper actually look easy to tell apart, can prove challenging, and we all still make mistakes from time to time. Young gulls which haven't yet reached full adult plumage are even more challenging to identify, taxing even the most experienced birdwatchers. And we shall be returning to these in a series of later workshops.